You guys excited? Yeah, we're very excited. Should we make our way up? Yep. Let's go. You can't get more grassroots than me. I'm just a normal person in America. And here I am having lunch with the president. I think it's going to go by so fast. It's going to go by too quickly. I want to hear what the president has to say. And I just expect to learn a great deal just from being with him. Once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. When you press the send button to donate the money, you never think in a million years that your name will be picked. Even after I won it, I never thought. You know, you know, I'd be you never here. understood the reality of it. Right, it's right? real. The vibe in this room right now is an overwhelming sense of excitement. This is crazy. Everyone was waiting for his arrival, and then. Hey guys! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. He acknowledged me by name. And it was just um, overwhelming, you know, for him to take that time to know who we are. Jim, Mr. President, good to see you. you. Thank good you so much you. for coming. Hi. Mr. President, how are you? Good. It was immediately like being with an old friend. How are Hi, you? Mr. Good President. to see you. You too. Nice like to see you. Everybody, have a seat. Have a seat. Now, Jim, did you grow up in Ohio? Yep. Did grew you up. always know you wanted to be a firefighter? I did. We all said we were going to be firefighters. Yeah. He's doing it. I got a picture of a little boy. Yeah, the fire helmet and, 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 and it was a call. How many guys in the station? We used to have about 15 to 16, and now we're down to about 12. Is that right? Wow. That many cutbacks? At backs. nighttime, yeah. You know, it's tough. We, the first two years I, I came in, right when the recession hit, uh, you know, the, the Recovery Act uh, provided money to states to keep folks on. The needs are still there. It's not like suddenly there are fewer away. fires. Fire doesn't go it's away. It's not like there are fewer kids to teach. He was genuinely interested in what I do, interested in the issues, and wanted to talk to me about it. One of the questions I was going to ask, and being a father, how do you balance your time? I know how much time yeah. the kids need. Yeah. My commute is a one minute walk. Upstairs. Upstairs. So what that means is, whenever I'm in town, at 6.30, we eat together. Mm. And, you know, so I've got like an hour, an hour and a half where I'm just talking to the girls, finding out what's their day, etc. And, and, you know, the truth is, at this age, that's about as much as they can take of me. <laughs> He's just really down to earth. He wants to know what's happening in our communities. He wants to know what's happening in our families' lives. You are from Arizona. I am. We have some interesting conversations over the dinner table since some are Republican. Will you tell all your Republican family members that I said hi. They may not agree with my politics, but the, uh, I'm sure that if I was sitting down with them, we'd, we'd get along just fine. My dad, to be honest with you, is on the fence. I think that hi just pushed him See, over. there you go. <laughs> I think the fact that the president took time out of his day to spend time with us, it speaks volumes about his real interest in average citizens. This is just such an honor to be able to do this work. And every day I meet folks like you guys who really just remind me of why I'm optimistic about the country. You know, I, the country is really full of good people. Our political system is just, everybody's yelling and hollering all the time. And that happens sometimes when times are tough. Uh, and hopefully, as we get through this, you know, we'll get back to where everybody reminds ourselves we're not Democrats or Republicans first, we're Americans first. That's, that's what we need. This just reaffirms to me, having a conversation with him, that I'm doing the right thing. I'm fighting for the right guy, and I'm on the right side. Do we have lettuce in our teeth? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh, yeah. We knew that would go quickly, but it just instilled memories that will always be there. So it was, it was a great, great afternoon. Maybe I'll see you guys out on the trail. I'm calling my family. I'm calling my friends. I'm letting people know of my personal experience with the president. He is a valuable person and a valuable leader, and we need him to continue to finish what he started. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. It Thank means you a lot. Thank you very much. So much. All right. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye. Thanks. Oh, how great was that? <laughs> that was wonderful. I'll remember this the rest of my life.